I'm just going to try this charge cable, um, which is USB to type C because I need this other one to charge my thermal imaging camera because it does have this funny thing where it totally drains itself. Um, yes, that does fit. Every time you leave it, so I'm going to have to charge it up. Now, is that going to work? Yep, that seems to be taking uh, current in. That's the meter about to turn off. So let's charge the thermal imaging camera and we can see what's getting hot. I'll put a link to the eBay listing for this board. Um, the seller of this board actually has other boards and I think he does have one which has a USB, a USB type C output which may or may not do power delivery. But the boards are very expensive. This one was quite cheap, a couple of dollars. But the um, more complex ones are up to something like $15. And it did occur to me, you can probably buy uh, a half decent power bank for that price, including the cells. So I'm kind of in two minds whether to go for that sort of board and make uh, a little power bank that has PD output, power delivery type, USB type C. Yeah, not sure about that. Not sure how much time I'll get with the thermal imaging camera because it hasn't had much of a chance to warm up. But yes, just behind the connector which is quite warm in its own right is the hottest part of the system 67 degrees maximum 65 66 and that is indeed that little 8205 uh, mosfet what about this chip over here between the two usbs no that's just mildly warm it's definitely that mosfet that's getting hot and my usb-c connector in fact this cable does feel quite warm it does look a bit noddy uh, this chip out here it's a SOT 23 6 pin could be one of those TTP 223 touch switch chips it would be sensible if they've done that it certainly looks like the uh, touch switch goes straight into that chip um, while it's charging you get a flashing 4 but the double O's don't flash if I turn off the power bank Oh, the meter went off as well. That's completely unrelated. And I touch the touch switch. You get a flashing of all three digits. Uh, so you can see which is the monitoring. And if I turn back on the power bank, which is the charging indicator. The ASC8826 is a new and original integrated chip, 5 volt. Now you've got 4.8 amp, 3.5, 3 or 2, and I think it says selectable by a resistor. Uh, high quality integrated chip, China power bank IC, mobile power supply chip integrating both charge and boost. Now if this is doing the charge, maybe this controls the upper voltage. I'm not quite sure what that device is doing, perhaps that's just a protection device. Um, there's not a lot on this synchronous efficiency up to 90% 2 amps maximum charge current let's go further down the data sheet um, there is an application circuit diagram here but it's very splodgy and they've got some sort of thing right across the center of it so I can't see it very well let's see if I can pick out some highlights well it's very hard to see but there's the inductor and I think that equates to the large inductor here, that square thing there. Um, there's possibly a low value resistor there, which might be the current measuring resistor. I think that says B+. Plus. Um, we've got an upper MOSFET and a lower MOSFET, so that's the synchronous rectification for generating. Uh, well, now that's for charging. If that's B+, plus, that's for charging the battery. But there are two places that say 5 volt. That says 5 volt up there. This says 5 volts here so i'm not quite sure which one's which yeah i can't make much sense of that diagram unfortunately right here's some more stuff um charge management electrical characteristics input voltage range 4.2 to 6.5 so that's the usb going in and then it says full charged voltage uh, minimum 4.16 typical 4.19 max 4.22 so this looks like it's uh, going to stop charging the battery when it gets to 4.2. That's better than what that was saying, 4.425. Then you've got constant current charge, some parameters there. 
up to uh, 2 amps, pre-charged current, fully charged current, and down here there's some boost output, oh some battery protection, 2 volts, output start voltage, okay boost output electrical characteristics, battery voltage range is anywhere from 3 to 4.35, that the booster will boost that up to 5 volts for USB, Right, so we're up to 3.7 volts. That's kind of the nominal cell voltage of uh, lithium ion. This is still only saying 6%. Now I'm assuming this is percent. I think it's got to be three digits so that it can show 100 when it's completely full. I'll come back when this is a little further forward in its charge sequence. So this is up to 3.9 volts now, and this is only reading 20% full. So I think probably the reason for that is that these are very low capacity cells, 1.3 amp hour. I mean, certainly you could have, oh, I can't remember, is it something like 3.6 amp hours is um, a, a much higher capacity cell. So when this reaches top, I presume this will calibrate itself to the cell capacity, and then this should read accurately from that point on. I'm just going to power up the... Uh, thermal imaging camera uh, because it seems that this charge chip over here is getting quite warm now so we'll just have a quick look at that when this comes on I've got the ceiling light on I'll turn that off it's getting quite dark now because uh, we're heading towards winter um, so no not that chip behind the three digit display I'll try and point that out uh, three digit display is going to be down here somewhere still the major heat is coming off that uh, 82 what was it 8255 MOSFET which is there it's bleeding into the inductor there that square thing uh, these look very cold they're not cold but they're just very reflective uh, which are the USB sockets there's that um, charge control chip there which isn't particularly warm no it's still the it's still the uh, MOSFET there that's getting warm and what are we getting about 60 degrees on that so the kind of temperature that you'd have on a central heating radiator right I'm up to four volts and only 26 percent showing on the state of charge indicator which is clearly wrong so I'm going to take this all the way up to 4.2 volts or whenever it cuts out. I want to see whether this goes to um, 100%. I'm very unlikely to capture that on camera. So I will just report back my findings, possibly not even in this video. So for the moment, I'll say cheerio.